Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Galini here and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Every day from Messenger to Instagram to emails and any which way, I even get a few letters in the mail, uh, I'm answering tons of questions daily. Um, love answering your questions. I encourage uh, you to ask questions. I've been at this for a long time. I'm not an expert in anything uh, in everything, but I do know a few things and a few tricks I've learned over the years. So this came in from Brad and Brad said, um, I told my trainer you were offering free advice about peak week. I saw one of your videos and I shared some of what you said to him. He said, you <laughs> oh, he said the guy's a fool and doesn't know what he's talking about. He's an old has-been and he's the expert and don't listen to me. <laughs> oh man, it busts me up anytime somebody calls me an old has-been. It's like the human body has changed. So the advice I give people is what I did. Now, I never entered one bodybuilding show that I was not ripped, tight, muscular, vascular. So I found what worked for me. Now I trained with a lot of bodybuilders back then, Tom Platts, Mike Christian, Samir Banut, uh, Frank Zane, um, and the list goes on and on and on. And we all talked. So, you know, I was able as a young bodybuilder to get advice from what they did, but I had to dial in what worked for me. And uh, so the program that I give is what works for me. And over the years, it has worked for thousands of other people. Sometimes you got to tweak a little bit. But these new age trainers who think they know everything, most of them have never stepped on stage themselves. So if you can't get yourself in shape, how are you going to tell somebody else to get in shape? And to call somebody a fool and a has-been? Dude, you're the fool. I know I shouldn't be calling somebody a fool, that's not very Christian-like, but you know, <laughs> uh, you gotta call it an apple if it's an apple. Um, he went on to, to say some more things that, uh, and again, uh, he's talking about my peak week, uh, about my how to uh, dry out, how to get rid of water and to carb up, and his trainer went on to say, you know, that's dinosaur you know, I'm gonna put you on a diuretic and I'm gonna give you some insulin and yada, yada, yada. Dude, don't listen to these trainers. People, don't listen to these trainers who tell you to take drugs. I can't tell you how many people they have screwed up. I have seen it for 30 plus years. They've screwed up women's metabolism. They screwed up guys' metabolism. I've seen people die from these stupid things these guys tell these people to do. Quit listening to them. You know, the human body is a very uh, delicate, um, integral machine. And there's an easy way to cut water. There's an easy way to carb up. You know, it works with the body. It works. So anyhow, uh, that's my rant about these, uh, these trainers who are always recommending drugs and, you know, saying people uh, like myself, don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I do know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, if you would like a copy of my book, absolutely free, Dr. Jeff's 16 Week Contest Training uh, Secrets. This is what I did 16 weeks out. I started my contest diet at the 16 week part. And I tell you what I ate, um, what I did uh, supplement wise, and then right down to uh, peak week exactly what I did detailed out right up to the time you go on stage. So take a look at it. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it won't. Maybe you can tweak it, but at least it'll give you some advice on, you know, what somebody who knew what they were doing did for themselves. All right, my friend, hope that helps. And uh, <laughs> don't pay that trainer any more money. Go get yourself somebody new.